my name is Sarah and today we're going to be looking at Chinese fortune sticks. Um, it is a form of divination but before we get into that I wanted to share with you the rabbit hole that I fell down. The catalyst to this was this dragon that I received in the Witch's Moon subscription box. Um, I've never worked with dragon energy and I started to just a little bit and I quickly fell in love with it. One of the aspects of dragon energy is that they hoard onto money. They keep it. This is an old money shaker jar that I created some time ago and it works great and they reside together. Next I have The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing by Marie Kondo. This is a popular book. Um, it is about minimalism and she does touch on Japanese culture, which is really interesting. Next I have a kakebo. Um, it's a Japanese way of keeping track of the household finances. Um, it is very useful for you know keeping track of your spending and it has um, basically a balance sheet at the end of each month um, to calculate all your expenses and it's a great way of being mindful with your finances and in the end you can save money or it can help you save money. The next item I have here is tea leaf fortune cards. Um, tassiography or tea leaf reading has origins in Asia. Um, the cards themselves have a beautiful picture, the name on top, and then a description on the bottom of the cards. The deck itself is quite lovely. There's 200 round cards. The next item I have is the Tao Oracle. Uh, which is an oracle deck based off of a Chinese philosophy, um, the I Ching. The I Ching has 64 hexagrams. Um, however, you can use this oracle just like a standard oracle, or you can actually use um, coins um, to cast the coins to see what the change is to your specific hexagram. So to cast the changing lines in I Ching, all you need are three coins that are the same. Um, they don't need to be Chinese coins, but you know, I just couldn't resist. I had to get a set. The next thing I have is a book of Chinese myths and folk tales. I was walking around my local Barnes and Noble and I saw this book on a table and I could not resist. The book itself is a beautiful hardbound book. Um, it's got gold gilding. It has one of those um, ribbons for a bookmark. It has a ton of stories in it. I think that this book will give me greater insight to Chinese culture. And I really, I haven't read any of the, of the stories yet. This is a new book to me, but I'm really looking forward to it. So another item that I picked up was this little piggy bank that is a cat. So in Japanese and Chinese culture, um, cats are a symbol of good luck. The raised paw is a welcoming gesture and since it's a piggy bank, I'm trying to welcome in some cash. So continuing down my rabbit hole, I stumbled across the Japanese art of fabric wrapping. Um, I believe it's pronounced furoshiki, um, but it is a method of wrapping gifts using cloth instead of paper or paper bags that um, are commonly used. Personally, I think that wrapping gifts with cloth is great because it's environmentally friendly and in the long run it is more cost effective than buying individual wrapping paper or gift bags. So now we're to our final item, the Chinese fortune sticks. So I found this set of fortune sticks on Amazon. Um, the case is really pretty. The lid is a little bit loose. I didn't really expect it to, you know, be sealed like Tupperware or anything, but, you know, just for full disclosure. This particular set has 60 sticks. 
there are differences. Some come with 100 and some come with significantly less. This particular set, again, has 60. There was one um, error that I noticed with these six is that some of the numbers are misprinted. So I'm going to go through them and correct them as best I can. So this booklet was included with the fortune sticks. Um, it is actually read um, from right to left. Um, on the right hand page, um, it begins with number one and then it works itself backwards. Each number on the stick has its own associated meaning. This book itself was a little rolled up, so it did take some time to flatten out, but it eventually did flatten. So now I'm going to make piles of the sticks and correct them with this Sharpie fine point marker that I have. Mysticism is part of Chinese culture. For a different example, the Chinese zodiac system. These fortune sticks are also called Chi Chi sticks. They became popular in the U.S. around 1915, and they had approximately 78 sticks at that time. They dropped off in popularity because of World War II. The fortune sticks came into existence around the Jin Dynasty, which covered 266 to 420 CE, when Taoism was the biggest religion in Chinese culture. The fortune sticks were used then, just as they are today, to ease people's minds, to get insight, and to divine. There are two basic parts to the fortune sticks. The cup itself and the sticks, which are traditionally made out of bamboo. There are usually 100 sticks, numbered 1 through 100, and they are normally painted red on one end. But as you can tell, this set differs from the description, so there are different versions of Chinese fortune sticks. So to use the sticks, the querent holds the cup and sticks and whispers the question to the deity while kneeling and sitting quietly. The cup is then shaken and tipped slightly downward so that one stick will leave the bucket and drop onto the floor. If more than one stick drops, the fortune does not count and the querent must start over. Once a stick is received, the number on the stick will be used in the accompanying book to read your fortune. So this form of divination is only used for short term, approximately one year, and traditionally starting from the Chinese New Year. In addition, sometimes this divination system is known as the Oracle of Kuan Yin, in Buddhist traditions. So again, for example, um, you would shake the cup until one of the sticks falls out. You do have to hold it at a downward angle for it to kind of um, start to wiggle its way out, but it does work pretty effectively. And I was able to receive one and I got number 60. Now I will go to the book for my corresponding fortune. Number 60 states, for your luck today, hard work today and also care, your luck it seems is only fair, your fortune. If you seem to be old fashioned, do not worry or despair, the friends you make will love you so, you have no need to care. Unlooked for prosperity will come to you at a time when you least expect it, but most desire it. By persistent efforts only, you will get your wish. So I love oracle cards and tarot cards, but there's something very unique about this system. I love the tactile experience of it. It's not quite casting, but it has a different feel to it. It was fun to work with, and thank you for watching. Bye.